What's up you guys, Joe Dobby here. I am now a Deck Out Gaming affiliate. Use Joe Dobbs Deck Out at checkout. Deck Out Gaming has tons of singles for Pokemon, Dragon Ball Super, and Digimon TCG, as well as One Piece. They now buy list as well, so don't hesitate to reach out and uh, they got your back. Really high customer service ratings. Thank you guys. And uh, yeah, let's get to the video. What's up you guys, it's Joe Dobby here with an amazing deck profile to show you. This is second place Old Force Vidramon at the Ulti Cup if I'm not mistaken by none other than um, someone who has been in the Latin American community um, and is really cool. Like we always exchange kind of like talks on how to build decks and, and, and Mariano is someone who's seen some of my videos and it's very nice of you to bring, <laughs> to bring this deck profile to me. Uh, but without further ado, I'd, I'd love to see you get into it. So please do uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hey, Joe Dobby. Hey, YouTube. Uh, I'm Mariano. I'm also known as Blake on Discord. Um, I'm from Argentina. I played this uh, Ultimate Cup, the first Ultimate Cup in Latin America. Um, I played with All Force Vidramon. I got second place with five wins and a tie. Beautiful. Um, so yeah. Uh, without further ado, I'll start with the deck profile, explaining my deck choices, my decks, and what I would change maybe at the end of the video. Um, so to start off uh, with the X, here we start uh, where the All Force community can't get, can't agree on is the X. <laughs> uh, a lot of people play Wanyamon, which is draw one. I really like the Baby Domon because I'm terrified of swinging security with only 12k. Yeah. I really like swing with 13k, either for blockers or for security megas. Mm -hmm. um, Baby Domon also makes Stray Common cost zero to evolve, which is really important because evolving a rookie for one sucks. Yeah, agree. Um, Drake Common is a great searcher. It searches all your uh, fives, your level sixes. Uh, your Vidromon and also gives you a nice inheritable of 1k when you swing or block so it makes your Vidromon 7k or your all force 14k so you don't get blocked as easily by Machine Dromon. Then the six Vmons that give memory when you go into all force, really important to keep turn when you go into your Mega. The two Modoki were a last minute addition because I'm terrified of Bloom Lord because of Quartzmon. Yep. Uh, I faced only one Bloom Lord, and I never he never got to wards because I pretty much choked him out of the game with the Modokis. He was relying on his memory boosts, and I always had Modoki in hand, thankfully. So he really earned the spot in the deck. I don't know if I would keep him outside of Ulti Cup, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. he definitely has to be in Ultimate Cup if you play it. Bloom so is very strong. So yeah. did your opponent like try to suspend Beatamon at all, or was it just suspending on their side of the field mainly? Um, he did. The maximum he could do was uh, use Samara Santi to suspend oh, it. Oh my gosh, that's really that takes a while if you only play like one or two copies, right? So. But he he didn't even have enough memory to swing over it, so he just <laughs> left it frozen, and then he lost. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Nice, very good call there. Yeah. Uh, then the level fours, uh, also something that no one's agree, no one agrees on. Uh, Leomon, I really like Leomon. It's a fantastic card. You can play it for free. It's a blocker. Yeah. Um, it really screws Belsimon up. A hundred percent. I did go. Yeah, I did go down from four to fit another hybrid. I really liked the three hybrids. I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, you can build a stack from a tamer. You can finish games quicker. Uh, I recommend Kumamon over Ranamon in Ulti Cup because of Machine Dramon. Machine Dramon is the best deck in the format and it's not a good matchup for us. Got it. So any stripping we can do is welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, level 5 is pretty straightforward. Four of the best Aero Vidramon that can suspend without dying because we always want to go into our level 6 as suspended. Yep. Two of the worst card of the deck, the Jamming Aero <laughs> Vidramon. Uh, you basically need your opponent to not have a blocker to be able to suspend. You also need to not check uh, an option to go into your force. You never know if you're going to make it. Mm -hmm. And the Inheritable needs 8 cards in hands. This is a deck that 
reduces your hand as you combo, and also I don't play Correct. many amounts, so Correct. it's really hard to be at it. I think in 16 matches, I only checked to security one time. Yeah, so, but yeah, you, yeah, but yeah. the the benefit for you is the jamming, right? Because you want your arrow V to survive and be suspended, so you go into all force, right? Yeah, it's the second best card to suspend without dying, and yeah. it's also a Dramon and a V Dramon for the names. Yeah, definitely searchable. And because you're only playing six, like you have to see, you have to see like your level fives, right? So it, I think this is a really good choice, regardless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's really no other choice. Yeah. Um, then four of the all fours, obviously, best your boss monster. Um, you really want to see it every single time as your first stack. Uh, mm -hmm. Doing all force X as first stack sucks because you don't get to play a tamer. Yes. Um, sometimes you need to hard play a tamer before going to all force if you don't meet the level threshold, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's going to be blocker and it's just really annoying for the opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, all force X is a card I'm falling in love with every single time I play it. <laughs> nice. It's really amazing. It really complements all force really well because all force needs a big hand and all force X needs a big board. So after mm -hmm. you're done playing all your tamers, you can hit, uh, swing once for every arena you have and you can also block once for every arena you have. People often forget that if you block with all force X, you can unsuspend in your opponent's turn and also bounce something. So sometimes it's just wow. a wall that they need two bodies just to be able to swing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I might consider playing it at three. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but it, I don't think it would be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Then the Tamers to Davis, because it's our best memory fixer. Yes. I don't think three are needed. Uh, Sorry, Joe was only because of Machine Dramon again, because yeah. we need to remove those huge bodies. It really did its job against Machine Dramon. Mm -hmm. Although the memory part of the Tamer never came up, my opponents were, I guess, smart enough to not give me free memory. Yeah. So I don't think I would play it outside of Ulti Cup um, because it's really easy to play around. For sure. Um, Rina at four, obviously, best Tamer in the deck. You always want to see it. Nothing more to say. Uh, Jerry, <laughs> because we're playing the Leo package, I always play one fewer Jerry than Leomon, so I was yeah. playing 4-3, and now I'm playing 3-2 for the Sorry Joe. And that makes sense. I, I really like the yeah. idea behind the 3-2, like one less Jerry. Because sometimes you can, like, if you're playing Sora Joe in this meta, you can pretty much slam the Leomon down and still put him to, like, maybe 3, right? So it's not, it's not, doesn't feel too bad to hard slam it. Yeah, and sometimes you're just like, like on turn one and you need to build a stack and you will have Leomon, you're going to lose a few. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm happy with two. I don't. I might keep it like this outside of Ulti Cup. I think I might play a third Davis. Yeah. Uh, sorry, a third Tai. So a third tie. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, tai is, is pretty good. It's better in the no Leo package because you play more V-Dramons, but it's still good. It's a cheap, a cheap tamer. You can sometimes play it for free with your inheritables. Yeah. You get a draw or you get TP, whatever you want. You can suspend all force for two, so it's, you're never you're never sad to see it. Um, outside of Ulti Cup, I play uh, Matt and Sora, which is uh, really useful. It's really easy to gain memory of it, and you bounce rookies which is good for a lot of decks, especially if they drop floodgates. Agree. So for non ulti cap, I will probably remove the Sora Joes and play a Sora Matt and another Tai. Mm -hmm. uh, options, uh, Great Maelstrom is... I, I don't really like this card, but it's the best removal we have, and it's the only way for us not to scoop when we see Quartz. <laughs> God. Um, Quartz basically make us not play the game, so you need to see this as soon as they drop it, otherwise you lose. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, I never uh, cross the Quartz, yeah. but that doesn't mean I don't. I wouldn't keep playing this card. Understood. The one time that they had Quartz or could go into Quartz, Madoki Betamon did his job, right? So there you yeah, go. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think I used this from hand once and it wasn't even that necessary. Amazing. But you still want to see it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ice Wall, I think, was the worst card in the whole tournament. Really? I, it never came up. It's really easy to bot to bottom deck it. Wow. And you usually have so many blockers, or you clear their board enough that 
it doesn't matter. I agree. Yeah, makes sense. So this is going to become either the third uh, all for sex or a death X because we don't have wide removal. Sometimes yeah. we have like 20 cards that don't kill rookies in security. Yeah. So sometimes they, they start uh, piling up and you don't have an answer to it. Agree. Nice. Yeah, death X uh, seems to be a good choice. Yeah, and also I play one merciful mode in normal format over the second maelstrom. Okay. Uh, that could change into the second maelstrom, I'm not sure yet, but I like the big blocker and the trashing. Agree. And the memory boost, obviously, you should play it in almost every deck. It does bottom deck are tamers, so I don't play a lot of it, but it's nicer to play a memory boost instead of evolving, so you have more options next turn and maybe your opponent doesn't know what you have in your hand mm -hmm. or what your stack is going to look like. And it. that's it for the deck. Um, do you want me to talk about the matchups or we can, or you want me to ask him any, anything? Yeah, so uh, with regards to matchups, I can ask you questions regarding that, um, just so we don't kind of uh, discuss every single match. But what were some of your more challenging matchups and what cards in the deck or what did you do strategically to play around these matchups? Uh, coming in, I expected Bloomlord and Machinra to suck uh, <laughs> okay. for the deck. Yeah, yeah. Um, Machinra was definitely the toughest one yeah. because of the huge stacks they build and the, the Digivolve they do to you. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, Joe can clutch. Uh, sometimes the stacks look unkillable and then you start bouncing and stripping sources and then before you know it you remove the stack uh it's a really it's a deck that doesn't really kill you fast especially without red cards agree so you have time to set up you can do two bounces in a turn you can strip security uh, sources so it's not as hard as it seems but i did that was one of my choice yeah so you have to know how to play the the matchup you need to be patient and know how to remove the the big stacks yeah you almost uh, want you almost want like a level five ready in raising so you can all force bounce right so sometimes even if it doesn't seem like very efficient would you say that sometimes dropping your other tamers are pretty worth it just so you pass turn without a body on board or something like that yeah, yeah. unless uh as, so, as long as it's uh it's a four cost tamer yes yes yeah two and three cost tamers get deleted got it sucks. got it with the mega German inheritable yeah. right yeah okay exactly. got it. and you never want to go aerovidra jamming in racing you will, if, yeah if that's the only level five you have you just keep searching you never evolve into it because it's you're never going to be able to suspend it yeah yeah agree it'll just be redirected uh, if especially if there's analog man right so that's a big deal yeah yeah and then uh bloom lord um I decked the Modoki and the Maelstrom. Mm -hmm. The Modoki won me the match both times. Mm -hmm. I was ready to bot deck them quartz if it came, but mm -hmm. thankfully it didn't. Uh, but yeah, against Bloomlord, you, the, the game plan is just making the board, making them slow them down with Modoki and try to win quickly and know how to remove their board. Thankfully, Hydra was at one. Got it. So, uh what's kind of like your best um advice like if you were to give someone to like if, if someone is like a diehard old force v German fan um what's some general things you have to take in when you're playing old force v German? like doesn't matter what the matchup is like what would you advise like is it important to be a little bit more patient um is it important to like, what are some key cards that you need to see in your hand before you can kind of go off? Um, yeah, just talk about a little bit of, of those two things. Yeah, definitely. You, the main thing I would say is stop thinking this is an OTK deck. It's not. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for someone to say that. Okay, go ahead. This deck plays a bit like uh, Jessmon, yeah. where you're going to do you're going to build in racing yeah. until you're ready to go and you're going to make a mess out of your opponent but yeah. not win yeah you're going to probably clear board uh clear a lot of security but yeah. you're not going to win you want to set up a board that is as hard as possible for them to break yeah uh in order to win next turn yeah and 
you sometimes leaving Rina's unsuspended if you have all four sex is better than swinging as much as possible. Agree. Because not only are you getting more blocks, but you are giving them less resources by checking. Yeah, and I think the important thing too is if you don't have lethal, take advantage of evade, right? Stay unsuspended. Don't do. Don't go for that hit just so you can hit, because you'll be a blocker with evade either way. So, you know, sometimes people think like, oh, I'm gonna get, you know, it's gonna swing over me anyway, like that kind of thing. But at the same time, like sometimes evade goes a really long way, um, and and blocker in this meta with people playing Beelzemon. I know that you know we have restrictions on it now and whatever, but. I still think blockers are very important, which is why I do appreciate the Leo Mongeri. I don't think it's gonna mess up your drum on search like very much at all, right? So I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah uh, all for sex is a, is really really important in the Bills matchup. Yeah, uh, you're going to block and bounce them. They're they're going to need a lot of setup to get past it, and don't get cocky with your blocks and don't get cocky with your swings because. Yeah. Uh, sometimes what people would do is bait a block and then when you're suspended use an option to kill your old force. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if a swing is not threatening you, you should you should probably just let it through. Best case yeah. scenario, they check a tamer. Yeah. And you keep your evade. Yeah. I think a really important thing to note is like just being patient on the blocks and knowing when to block is very important. And depending on the matchup, it could be a big deal. Like some people don't really take into account that Death Slinger at 20 cards deletes a level six. And, yeah, exactly. you know, and it's like, okay, like I'll swing with the Impmon. Uh, and then it's like, oh, I don't want him to trash three more cards. Or I, let's see if he hits a Tamer, they'll let it through. Or if they don't, they block just so like, okay, you know what? block and then Deathslinger just ends up killing you so um that's, yeah that's a, a lesson i learned by playing examon uh, oh never never suspend your evade digimon unless you're going to lose yes unless you absolutely have to correct yep. all right so i guess the last question for me is um we kind of talked over some of the cards that you would tech in and out for you know regular format um what is an, a must-have? I know a lot of the other cards are kind of, you know, options like um, like Matt and... Was it Matt and... I forgot that Matt card. Matt and Sora, yeah. It's like Matt and Sora. You've got like Death X. Uh, you've got like a bunch of these other tech cards. But what is the one tech card that you think people should test first um, going into regular format? Um, Matt and Sora is definitely a card I love. Yeah, uh, it bounces rookies, yeah. which again comes into the the thing of not being able to bounce a lot of things, only big things. Understood. And also, uh, after a certain um, point in the game, you're starting your turns at five, which is a lot. Yes. So yeah. definitely that one. Uh, Ice Wall is really not that good in the deck. Yeah. I I regret including it. And depending on your local matchups. Uh, Siakomon or Modoki Betamon can help if there's mm -hmm. a lot of Bloom Lord or Hunters. For sure. Uh, yeah. All right. I guess, yeah, that's it. Well, any last things to add? Um, just uh, saying hi to my team, Otomel. Let's go. Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> hi, team yeah, Otomel. <laughs> I, I, I was the only one playing, the, uh, <laughs> and another one was the judge. So. Wow. Very I nice. Did, I did my my team justice. Amazing. Um, yeah, just greeting to everyone in Argentina. Everyone is super nice. Uh, help me build the deck. Help me test. So and um, thank you obviously for uh, giving me this space. Well, you know what? Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share your success with the community. I know I cover a lot of the villains, a lot of the purple decks, a lot of the bad guys, but it's very nice to see now and then that you know, a, a rogue deck regardless. Cause I do think that Old Force Vidramon is a, uh, is a force to be reckoned with, with like a very, very well piloted and well built deck. Um, and I, but, but I still think it kind of falls into the rogue tier 1.5 category, right? So um, that said, congratulations again, huge win, second place at the Latin America Ultimate Cup. 
And uh, guys, if you love this deck profile, shout out to Mariano, shout out to Team Otomel. Um, just want to say, you know, uh, give him a like, uh, comment down below how you feel about his build. And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Mariano, aka Blake, will be checking that out very, very soon and, and, and is probably yep. uh, going to be welcome to give a little bit more advice. But that yeah, said, definitely. yes. <laughs> But that said, that is it from us. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.